Hey y'all, it's Farmer Mima, and today I'm just going to get real with you. My brain is just all over the place. I can't put together a concise thought. I've got so much stuff on my mind, and so I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to unload. I'm sorry I'm unloading on you. You can, you can turn this video off right now if you don't want to learn more about this crazy life I live. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I am, people call me Farmer Mima. I am really seriously ADHD and I am in the middle of menopause. That's a lot of fun. I lost a lot of weight on keto and was just feeling wonderful. And then the little menopause stuff started creeping in and the weight started creeping back on. At which time I got more and more frustrated because eating the way I had eaten to lose weight was now doing nothing for me. And so if you know anything about psychology um, and learned helplessness, um, that happens when you can do a behavior and sometimes you get a good result and sometimes you don't. And you can no longer rely on a certain behavior to give you a certain result. And it becomes meaningless and you become depressed because it's learned helplessness you feel like you have no control over a situation because it's no longer predictable. So that is where I have kind of found myself. Now, let's talk about homesteading for a minute. Um, I am a big proponent of homesteading. I love the idea of homesteading. I call myself a homesteader, um, but currently I have a lot of pet chickens, ducks, and quail, and a great Pyrenees. Um, I... I'm wonderful at making excuses for everything that I don't accomplish and never give up trying to accomplish it, but somehow always fail. I am, I am pretty resilient because I've had to be, otherwise I would be in a corner curled up in the fetal position right now. Um, so, you know, I've been living a life of convenience instead of conviction, and it's making me miserable and what I mean by that is you know it's just easier some things are just easier my husband is a big proponent of living um, or doing working smarter and not harder well as you know homesteading is a lot of hard work he would rather go to the grocery store because it's a lot easier that way and I agree and I do go to the grocery store um I've never killed any of my chickens or well we have never harvested for eating any chickens or ducks. There have been some roosters that, you know, met their demise, but they didn't go in. Oh my gosh, y'all, there, there is a grasshopper thing that just landed on my window, y'all. And I'm not kidding, it is like that long. Unless there's two of them stuck together, but I don't think it is. Anyway, did I mention I'm ADHD? So, back to what I was saying so we buy groceries at this store i feed my kids food that i don't think should be fed to kids like you know spaghettios y'all know me um i believe in working in a garden i believe in so much that i don't do um just back to eden gardening and just no-till gardening and raised bed gardening and and tiller gardening and all of the wonderful things um, this year I planted so much and the weeds and the grasshoppery bugs and rabbits and deer thoroughly enjoyed my garden. Um, I have gotten pumpkins. Pumpkins were the only thing that survived and now the, the pumpkins were planted right beside a row of tomatoes and the tomatoes y'all i started them from seed i was so proud and they looked so good they grew and then they were overtaken by weeds as happens because i didn't take care of them and so you know they died out the pumpkins flourished now the weeds because of the time of year it is the weeds that had overtaken the tomatoes have started to die back and lo and behold, I have two tomato plants with little green tomatoes on them. One of them is about yay big. Um, 
And so that kind of was like, you know, you can go through a lot of crap and be left for dead, but that doesn't mean that it's over, you know? Just, it's never over. There is still more to the story. And, and you know, you just, you just have to wait. Sometimes you just have to be patient. So, um, I'm never going to, you know, I, I started an, a video earlier about why I'm never going to give up homesteading. And, and I started talking about, you know, it, it would be easier to not homestead and to just go to the grocery store. Don't worry. You just plow the yard flat. Don't try to plant anything, any trees or food of any kind. And just mow the yard and go to the grocery store like most people do. And as I was saying this, talking about this in this other video, like y'all, like I was welling up with tears and just, it just was painful to even talk about. Um, and so I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but why am I not doing it? Well, fear, you know, and, and failure. Um, failure is the new success, y'all. Um, every time I fail, instead of just going, okay, learn from this, move forward, try it again, do it again, it's just like I take that failure and I internalize it and I'm just like, I am such a failure. Nothing is ever going to work. Nothing is ever. And it, I have to dig down so deep because there was a time in my life <laughs> when I was not a failure. Failure was not part of even my vocabulary, talking about myself in most instances, because I, I'm not, I'm not a dumb person. I'm really intelligent. Um, I am or was a quick learner. Uh, I have conviction. I have passion. Um, and, and I learn and I research and I do what I need to do. And so why do I stop short of living this dream life that I have, this vision that I have for myself? Um, and maybe it's just too scary to realize that I could feel it yet. But now as I'm getting older, it's that I'll never, if I, y'all, I'm not getting any younger. I'm never, I will die without having accomplished my dream, without leaving a legacy other than she was a hot mess. You know, the house will be cleaner with her gone because I, you know, I make messes. Even when I'm trying to clean up. So anyway, um... It, things have just been kind of crazy and this last weekend there was kind of a big event it was very exciting for some people a very happy event um for some people and it was an emotionally taxing event for me without going into a lot of detail um and then i had my grandkids this weekend and that was a lot of fun but y'all i didn't put out any videos i was you know i've been so determined i'm going to put out videos um and i didn't they had my attention i didn't finish editing the video that i was going to post today and it's just like okay i'm flaking out again luckily for my 100 days of change you know i'm breaking it into five day in increments and today is actually day four of the part where i'm supposed to be focusing on I have value regardless of what I weigh. And that's been a struggle for the last five days. There have been a lot of struggles because I am continuing to gain weight and I'm not helping it because, y'all, I can make some amazing fried fish. My daddy taught me well and I can make some fried fish. And so I made, because the kids and the grandkids love fried fish, and so I made a big batch of fried fish and it was delicious. And I had some... I could have made some keto with, you know, battering it or whatever with pork rinds, but I just didn't feel like messing with it. And so I ate the stuff with the cornmeal mix and all that, and it was delicious. And I've had, you know, other things from when the girls were here. I ate things I shouldn't have eaten, and now it's just like... I'm ginormous. My fingers are like so swollen that I had to take my rings off because I couldn't get them off. And I panicked of just like, it's gonna kill me. Like I woke up and the finger that my stainless steel ring that I've talked about before that I got for our 20th anniversary, my stainless steel ring 
wouldn't come off and I was just like horrified my finger that finger was numb when I woke up this morning and I was like oh my gosh it's you know um I've gained so much of my weight back and so I've got to start a new journey I am resilient I will not give up because I'm going to be healthy going to lose weight good lord willing and the creeks don't rise I am not satisfied to stay the size I am right now I'm going to love myself my husband's going to love me my family loves me I love me I don't love the body me is in. So I'm gonna work on that with conviction. Um, and so, you know, I, right now my goal, and I'm, I'm gonna start right now, I'm not gonna wait for the next five days, um, but for, the, for now and the next five days, my focus is going to be on living a life of conviction and living the way that I'm convicted to live um, because I want to be healthy and in my heart of hearts I know the only way to be healthy is to take control of the food that I eat and to eat things that are grown in a way that is natural and nourishing the way God intended it and that would the only way that I could do that would be through growing it myself. And that's why I love gardening and I love homesteading, even though I suck at it um, right now, for now, for now, because I'm going, to, I'm going to keep getting better. I'm going to work hard. I'm not gonna give up. And let me tell you too, y'all, I, over the weekend, it just, I got out of that habit of waking up early in the morning and taking my supplements. Um, and I can tell a difference between the, not taking the supplements and then eating way too many carbs and grainy type things. Um, Y'all, I just like, I can tell, like I was on top of stuff, getting stuff done, working hard, staying focused. But without my supplements and then with eating the, the carbs, I've had, I've had sugars and I've had grains. Just the way I think, the way I feel, the fact that I'm not productive, um, my emotions aren't helping any. Um, but also, you know, just the hormonal influx of just every, you know, hormones are everywhere as well. Um, it just has come together for a total poo storm, y'all. Um, and so I'm gonna work on that. I'm, I'm researching, I'm gonna get back into my supplementing. Um, I'm, I'm gonna get back to really, oh, y'all. I think part of, part of the problem that I have is seeing so many people do things so well and know that I cannot do it that well. Um, and so if I don't do it as well as the people who have been doing it forever, um, then I just feel like a failure. I could have I could have some good success, but they're having great success, so I feel like I'm a failure. You know, I have that comparison demon in my head. And I just saw something the other day randomly that got posted and it was basically that comparison is like the squasher of dreams and the just squasher of happiness and all this and you know there's a saying about living an incongruent life leads to misery and that's what i've been living um is i try you know and and i feel good about getting my kitchen clean but y'all that does not that does not feed my soul um being on my tractor feeds my soul tilling up ground, seeing seeds grow, spending time outside, weeding, seeing like when you have weeds and you pull them up and then seeing that fresh ground without weeds, that feeds my soul. Um, seeing the little baby pumpkins that are still growing um, feeds my soul. You know, there is so much that makes me happy, but I've not been partaking because I felt like somehow I didn't deserve it because, you know, my kitchen wasn't clean enough or I didn't do all of these other things. And yeah, some things need to be maintained, but they don't have to be perfect. You know, you can do something good enough. 
But then it's just like, there's so much more to this story, y'all. So much more to this story. Um, but the next five days are going to be about living a life of conviction, not convenience. It is not convenient to get up at five or even six. I am more of a seven-ish person um, to, to wake up in the morning. But, you know, I do believe that getting up earlier, you're going to be more productive. You get so much more done um, and working hard on things instead of sitting and going, okay, I just need a break. Let me watch a little TV because a little TV turns into a lot of TV. Give me a thumbs up and a comment down below if that's true for you too. Um, but just... And you know, if I were at work, if I had a nine to five, I wouldn't be watching TV. I wouldn't be on Facebook. I wouldn't be doing all this stuff. I'd be working my job. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of what's going on with me and just my flighty self because yeah, um, sorry I didn't get any videos out over the last two days. I do still plan to go live tonight, good Lord willing, and the creeks don't rise. And, um, Hopefully, maybe, I'll be able to bring you along for a journey of me getting my sh together. Excuse my French that I didn't really say it out loud. But, yeah, I'm getting my stuff together, y'all, and trying to live a life of conviction and live the life that I believe I was meant to live. So I'm starting over, and I'm getting healthy, and so there may be, I don't know, just bear with me. I don't know what I might post on, on this channel in the future. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye y'all.